Here I'll show you how to test a hard drive, see if it's healthy or not, so you can reuse it or not. So this is a WD Black 320 gig hard drive, and I'm going to connect it to a USB uh, enclosure or USB to start the interface. And I'll show you two programs that you can use to test the health of the hard drive. One of them is called HDD Guru, and the other one is called Victoria HDD. So I've got it connected, and I'll leave it here securely. And I'll switch the monitor across and you can see the process. The HDMI connection is a bit fidgety. Okay, here we go. This is HDD scan. And this one for this controller, USB controller that I'm using, does not support uh, smart. But if you've got the hard drive connected directly with a SATA interface, it will read the smart information so I'll launch this and we'll have a look at it together and it's important to run these programs as administrator Okay, here we go. So you can select the hard drive you want to work with. So you can see JMicron is a controller with the USB hard drive connected. Smart is not enabled, unfortunately, but Smart is there, of course. So you can test your internal hard drive or you can test the external hard drive. And normally I do a read and a write test and see how it's going. So smart is not available and on the test menu you do have a few options and as you can see smart is available here and if we go into it we should see more information. Smart is useful, it tells the health of the hard drive if some of the information the drive has logged over its lifetime. So this is a smart and we got a green light, usually it means good, but if you get a yellow light or red light you may consider not using this hard drive any further for real storage, just for temporary storage, that's fine. And this is the drive I'm interested in. And normally what I want to see is the uh, uh, how, how quick it reads, whether it's a uh, high latency or low latency. You want a low latency. So if you double click on this job, uh, you want them all white, gray areas. You don't want any of the red, blue or orange. If you do get them, then you may consider stop using this drive. And I don't run the test all the way and usually if there is a problem, the problem shows up earlier. Uh, the HDMI switch disappeared again, I'll bring that back on. Okay, there we go. Let's stop this. And this time do a read. Should be quicker. There was one green there, another one there. Hmm, none of these are available, which is annoying. All right, why don't we try the other software, the uh, Victoria HDD
Okay, that's downloading. And this program does support smart status, so it's a bit more clever. But with hard drives, you're never safe with one app, so it's good to have multiple apps, so you get a proper view. It's like getting a second opinion from your doctor. So here, interface is a bit more clunky, but you can see the hard drives that are available on the right. And it's got, it's got more information about the computer. So we're going to switch the drive, there we go. And we do have smart and more information available here. This one also shows um, uh, the, um, what do you call it, G-Sync. Um, if, if the drive is dropped or physical damage, G-Sensor, sorry, there we go, G-Sensor, how many times it has been dropped, had a physical shock, uh, which is critical. You might do this on a new hard drive that you buy because sometimes in the retail store, in the warehouse, they may drop the hard drive, you'll never know. But if you plug it in and have a look like this, and if it has been dropped, you can return it before starting to use it. This is a critical step I do recommend. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, these two programs are pretty good. If you've got Windows running, you can quickly check the health of the hard drive. Otherwise, you'll need to use a bootable USB of some sort, like Hiren or System Rescue Tools or, or Kali, etc. And they've got other programs in there to, to, to do similar testing. I'll let this video run. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.